All right, Bree, thank you so much. Well, if you've been meaning to get a jump start on your health, we're talking about everything from diabetes testing to immunizations, basically any health related question that you have. This week is the perfect time to start because it's by national Health Week. And here to explain what that all means are Linda Powell from Mountain States Group and Ricardo Pineda from the Mexican Consulate. First of all, thank you guys for joining us this morning. But thank you, Ricardo. Mm -hmm. And Ricardo, we're going to start with you. Explain by national that, what that means. Well, uh, this is something that started uh, in 2001 in between seven counties from California and the government of Mexico, just as a way to make uh, uh, the Hispanic population aware uh, of their needs and to access to the health opportunities. From now on, after 11 years, no, this is the 12th year in a row that this is going to happen in the U.S., we have 40 states in the U.S. participating and nine countries, which is amazing because also we have the University of California, Berkeley, participating with the Initiative of the Americas in this uh, binational health week. That, that's what makes it binational and multinational health week. Okay, and the hope is to get all 50 states, 40 states is almost, but all 50 states would be great. Of course. In the case of Idaho, this is going to happen for a third year in a row. Okay, wow. And Linda, here to tell us about it's, it's basically, it's not just for Hispanic people, but it's for everyone out there who needs to get, I guess, immunizations, diabetes testing. Tell us what's going on. Well, we have um, um, a variety of events that uh, are planned uh, on October 6th, Saturday. We have a diabetes screening and education event in Wilder. It's at the Mercer Gymnasium from 9 to noon. Uh, all uh, next week, uh, from Tuesday through Friday at the Mexican Consulate, from 9 to noon, there are educational sessions scheduled uh, focused on diabetes, uh, mental health, and infectious diseases. And then the entire uh, event in Idaho culminates with a major health fair on Saturday, October 13th from 10 to 5 p.m. at the Hispanic Cultural Center where there is just a variety of different screening uh, services available for folks. We'll have um, uh, the first 200 will be able to receive uh, free cholesterol, glucose, and A1Cs and talk with a clinician. We've got free HIV testing. We've got Zumba demonstrations. We've got uh, the YMCA is providing educational sessions around healthy eating and physical activity. So there's just a, a, a ton of things. Oh, we have the St. Al's mobile mammography unit. And I did want to mention that the number to call to schedule those appointments changed. And the number to call now is 954-8856. Okay, we'll be putting that on our Facebook page and also our website for Great. people to uh, call for that. So they need to call ahead for screenings? Is that for what it is? No, for the, ma for the scheduling the mammograms, uh, okay. uh, women need to call in advance because we, we can only accommodate 25 women during that day. Okay, and so what's, I is it all free? I is uh, pretty much. Um, uh, the, um, I think that there will be flu shots available at a very low cost. Uh, Terry Riley will be providing those. And uh, the mammograms, for the most part, will be free. There are uh, grants that will provide funding for women who are low income. And so, uh, you know, there's a little bit of paperwork that needs to be filled out. But for the most part, we believe that uh, the people that sign up for those mammograms will get them at no cost. And Ricardo, just a question for you. Why is this so important for you guys to be part of this? It's important because we are able to reach so many people. Uh, during last year, uh, we estimate that we reach uh, 500,000 people in the U.S. Wow. 500,000. Uh, with more than 3,000 activities executed by more than 7,500 institutions. This year is not going to be less than that. We expect to reach uh, 400,000 people in the U.S. and as much as we can just in Idaho for a third year in a row. Is there any reason why you expect it to be under or less than that? Uh, not in a, I think this year that we're going to see an increase only okay. because we've been able to secure close to 40 partners okay. and um, I think we're, we're providing a, 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 a lot more screening services than we did last year. And so I think this year in Idaho we're going to see an increase in participation. Okay, anything else you want people to know about this event? We just hope that people will, will come out. Um, uh, there's a lot of good information that will be available related to their health. Uh, and uh, we're, we're hoping that people take advantage of it. All right. Well, thank you guys both for joining us. Again, we'll be putting those events uh, on our Facebook page and our website. You see them right there on your screen. Getting uh, a check of your health if you otherwise wouldn't be doing that this weekend, going all ne next week and this week. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Spencer, over to you.